Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. We're going to take a look at your week ahead, see what the messages are going forward. Um, my goodness, July, yeah, the, the week of July 8th through the 15th. Okay, so yeah, starting with Girl with a Snake, Empath, and Narcissist Paradigm. I just, I can't, seriously. Being charmed or used, enabling boundaries. Oh, seduction. Oh my gosh. Okay. Huge. This is huge. This is huge separation. Holy shit. You got someone here this week in your life. They seduce with charm. Compliments showing up here. Um, flirting, that kind of energy. Um, this person has absolutely no boundaries. Okay. Um, no boundaries they i'm feeling like this person they're going to come in there's something to do with the separation missing you thinking about you unsure of the future unsure of themselves feeling sad and they're going to come in and try to seduce or flirt with you or it's i don't know i don't know who's who there's a there's a paradigm here i don't know if this person's like there's empath they're like so codependency narcissism it's all connected i feel like um this person's coming in nothing no, nothing's changing here this this is who they are so uh, this could be somebody you already have a connection with or this could be somebody new if you already know this person they're still using the same tactics they're not um they're not changing not wanting to let you go trying to keep you like the dance going is what i want to say try to keep the dance going do you understand there's a there's a dance here between the empath and an arc and an arc there's a paradigm they dance together one they they can't live without each other <laughs> and it's a difficult escape okay so let's see now some of you might already have a connection with this person and you realize this is what their energy is about and you're getting away from them okay so two of cups in the reverse all right wow so there's definitely a separation i just want to double check something here yeah break up an argument or something like that showing up here this week let's see yep look somebody's putting up boundaries this week not dealing with some kind of codependency or manipulation tactics not going to be seduced Okay, so, hmm. my God, when the cards speak, the cards speak, you guys. I can't even believe this. There's seriously a breakup, a separation, or getting away from a bad, maybe someone, maybe someone you thought you were in alignment with, or someone that you, maybe there was a friendship, um, finding out that somebody's like very narcissistic, or just manipulative or is a people pleaser and it's just people pleasers are extremely um they're manipulative and they they're disloyal because they seek external valid validation whenever wherever they can get it so um if someone's if one person is not um giving them validation i don't know because they're asleep maybe they're in a coma it's just a never-ending hole a void and people pleasers um, because they don't feel they have any self-worth, okay? And and that can be in the form of someone who's narcissist, whether they're, like, very covert and they kind of fly under the radar, or if they're very extrovert and they're cruel, okay? So there is definitely um, someone here, whoever this person is, you know, I don't know for sure, but I will say that they're definitely going to be reaching out after some kind of separation, or thinking about reaching out. Wow. Five of Cups in the reverse. Hope, Hoping to return. Hoping for forgiveness. Wow, Virgo. This is an interesting reading. For what? Hmm. For being an asshole. <laughs> Sorry, but that's the Five of Swords. Okay? The, the Five of Swords is pretty much someone who is not in alignment doesn't resolve problems conflict avoidant will just shut everything down 
or cause a problem and then not really um, try to work it out, right? Or give another person a chance to talk. Um, this person is going to come back um, and seek forgiveness. They might not say, will you forgive me? But their intention is to come back for um, doing a shutdown. The Three of Swords for breaking up or causing discord or an issue. Wow. Interesting. So basically, to summarize, you have somebody who's making a return out of extreme codependency and neediness to not be thought of as a horrible person or to be thought of as a bad person or to be disliked because it, 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 they're coming back for themselves because they're coming back to seek that external validation again. So if you're breaking up with someone or you already have or there's an argument or a friendship that you just are like putting your boundaries up and you don't want any part of it, you're just done with something, I just feel like this person is going to try to make a return, try to flirt or seduce you in some way to... So they can get back in your good graces. Yeah. So they can get back in your good graces. So, I mean, this person, it's a girl or a guy. They have their sneaky, sneaky kind of energy. I can't believe all this. <laughs> These cards are showing up the way they are. Okay. Someone's, I mean, I feel like this person is pretty busted up about something like a, a friendship perhaps breaking up or um, if you tell them you know romantic or friendship that you don't want to reunite with them you don't want to indulge in a relationship with this person there's too much there's no support you don't feel like you're supported by somebody you don't like it, it doesn't feel real it doesn't feel true it feels manipulative it feels fake it doesn't feel right I don't see you reuniting with someone here. Yep, I feel like you're you're following some kind of rules this week. You're sticking to your rules, perhaps that you have set up for yourself. You're sticking to some kind of moral code or something for yourself. Um, as far as like what you will and will not tolerate from other people or from a friend or a romantic partner. Yep. It's in your favor to do that, Virgo. It feels like the best outcome for you so far is to make the changes, keep it moving, keep those wheels rolling, and do it in quiet silence. Just don't even... I feel like don't engage. I don't see you engaging, but I feel like don't engage with someone. Um whether it's positive or negative with this person, because I feel like to them, that's you saying, yes, you, you want them or you want the connection, right? Um, I feel like silence is the biggest sign. It's not giving someone the, the, the silent treatment because that's manipulative. Oh, I'm going to give the silent treatment and then when I'm going to control this and then I'm going to come back and talk to you when I want. No, this is more like I'm, you got to, like you're getting out of the ring. You know, you're getting out of the ring of a situation here this week with someone who is just going to try to draw you back in or may try to draw you back in. Look at that. You've got temperance. So this is you balancing, coming into alignment with yourself or going off the grid or just keeping your mouth shut if you, you you may have said your piece or if you didn't say your piece you may say your piece and then be done with something here for your own mental health for your own sanity to be at peace you're going quiet or being on your own or withdrawing is what's going to bring you peace from a situation here because i don't feel like somebody's coming in here like i said to try to have a conflict resolution or try to work on something with you. I feel like they're coming in here to be manipulative for their own gain because they can't deal with rejection. So they're going to say anything. They're going to seduce you. They'll do anything. But it's, it's false. It's fake. So I don't know who this friend is. Okay. First court card. You have the King of Cups. This person, Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. 
um, coming in with like a sweet little apology or something. I don't know if it's going to be enough for you. It might not be enough for you, Virgo. Apologies are a manipulation without actions and changes. They're just manipulation. So I feel like this week, hmm, Ace of Swords. This is blocking. If this person is coming through dishonest, it's dishonesty. Um, so, you know, when I call out a sign, I, it's not like, oh, you need to go around and ask everybody if they're a water sign and then suss them out and see if this is them. You know who your person is here. They don't have to be a water sign. They could have that water energy um, where they're very reserved with their emotions. They don't share very much, you know. Um, And for some of you, you're just simply separating already from someone that you know is like this. Are, could they possibly reach out? Yeah. Or say just very minimal effort. This is minimal effort person. Page of Cups. It's, it's like kind of sweet and that kind of energy, but it's minimal effort. It's not really trying to work on anything. It's more just trying to kind of love bomb a little bit here. Page of Wands with the Empress in the reverse. This person is very codependent, very dependent. They have very limited resources. They're quite immature, quite immature, stunted emotional growth, I feel. Okay. This is someone that like, I feel like gets these cute little kid crushes. They, I don't feel like this person is capable of really empathy or understanding deep down with inside. Um, I don't feel like this person really has the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes. They might feel like they can just always sense. They're high, they might be highly sensitive, but they think everything is their fault. But then, and that's what makes them very narcissistic, too, because they, they think that if someone doesn't talk to them, that it, it's something that they did. Well, no, maybe that person just got their tooth pulled and they're just not trying to talk right now you know it, it's kind of like it always goes back to them they think that it has something to do that's codependency which can be very high on the the narcissism traits it could be very high in the em empath um in a in empath in a very toxic way though not not you know empath is someone that has the ability to put themselves in other people's shoes and feel things there's nothing wrong with that um to be empathetic towards another person or have empathy, but using, it's, it's complicated. <laughs> I'm not getting into a psych session, y'all. <laughs> it sounds like I am. But I feel like this person, very, very dependent. Now, this could be a mother figure for some of you, or a parent, or it could be a sister. This, Like I said, could be a lover, friend. I just feel like this is about you. Let's just take a look at you, because I feel like this is just about you needing to get some peace of mind that's the biggest message this week yeah look you have the ten of wands so you're like done with this struggle and here you are just balancing things out weighing your options about this relationship with this person and really trying to understand to yourself and what it is that you want um, I see you pretty much being well balanced i don't see you like over giving i don't see you under giving i just kind of feel like you are really focused on i'm just hearing you saying what was i thinking um allowing my mother back into my life or what was i thinking allowing this friend or what was i thinking at the time to be friendly with you know this girl i work with or things like that whomever this person is I feel like you're doing some searching this week about what is the problem with this person, even if they come back and they're trying to like, you know, where I see here, trying to come back and sort of like tempt you into connecting with them. I feel like you're doing a lot of searching, you know, and trying, you're very curious about what this is or why this person's like that. Why did you compromise? Why did you... Why did you um, agree to connect with this person for so long when you knew intuitively that they were manipulating? 
things in their favor. Yeah, you're doing a lot of searching about that this week. So, you know, I just kind of feel like your withdrawing effort, period. I feel like you're, you're fully learning from the past here. You, you definitely are going to come to this place, releasing. There's this new hope. You're escaping from this situation, liberating yourself from this, getting some freedom, just saying no, maybe even blocking or doing some gray rock and just moving on. Is there anything new coming for Virgo? Anything new happening in Virgo's life? What can Virgo expect? Okay, beautiful. You've got the sun. Joy, vitality, happiness, freedom. Yes. There's something here. Um, they're saying that cut the cord. I'm hearing cut the cords. Cut the cords. Or if you've already cut a cord and somehow somebody, this person just, people do it you cut the cord or you tell somebody you, you don't want to be connected with them and s people normal people are like oh man that sucks all right i'm sorry is there anything i could do to fix it and you know is there anything i could do like you know i don't want to lose our friendship or something like that normal people but these these types of um, narky type people, these codependent people, will try to control the situation and try to come back or try to manipulate it to get back into good graces or to get you where they need you to be. Whether that's a placeholder in their life or whether that's um, someone that they can um, just abuse. I feel like your freedom, your happiness, your joy seems to be the most important thing here for you this week. And going forward and I feel like getting some peace of mind and even if you need to block or just not engage is going to be very beneficial to you this week yeah look at that I love it when the eight of swords is in the reverse this is good this is like I said release having new hope escaping being liberated and free a hundred percent so this week seems to be like ooh, surprise uh, somebody's going to try to come back in and control a narrative or keep a situation in the status quo or, you know, if you break up with them this week or there's a separation or something ends, they're not going to have it. But at the same time, they're not going to address anything. You do have new love or recommitment to love developing. Um... For those of you who are like, nah, I'm done with this. You do have a new love opportunity coming forward. Okay. And some of you just need to detach with love to clearly see the truth. And some of you probably already have. You know what you have in this person and what they do to try to get you to... I mean, I don't know if they put you on a pedestal. I don't know if they just... I don't think that's it. I think this person just can't not be on. They can't not be seen. They can't not be liked. They can't not be approved. They need that validation. And if you do not validate them, of course, they'll seek it elsewhere. But if they don't get it elsewhere, then they make their way back around, come back into the horse barn and do a little horse riding, if you know what I mean. I don't know. Yeah, I don't even know what I mean. Okay. I feel like so interesting fate. This is a destined partnership. I do feel though, it's not destined for anything other than for you to learn something about yourself. Rejection is God's protection. Now that that's not what it says. That's what I feel like the message here is. Um, yeah. So you're definitely, if you haven't already made a decision, to separate it looks like you may be on track for that this week but regardless i do feel like this whoever this person is to you is you know they are going to just give us like a little apology or something but it's not it doesn't feel like i feel like it comes without effort you know i feel like it's just giving an apology and say oh i'm sorry and then that's it like 
I don't know. I don't think it's going to fly. There, must, there has to be some kind of change or a willingness to change or showing some kind of change. All right, let me see what your message is here. All right, you have being unable or unwilling to make a decision, possibly follow your own, own heart rather than trying to make others happy. Pretending there is no problem, overanalyzing a situation. This is seriously about getting real. Because in the reverse, this is going to be about being able to make a decision. And I feel like the message here is don't be a people pleaser yourself. Have your boundaries up. Okay? Don't pretend that there is no problem. Um, don't try to gloss over anything because there's a fear that, of losing another person. I feel like that's what this person does. They won't deal with conflicts. They won't give you a hard time. They won't say anything. They'll just manipulate to try to be like the nicest person they can be or try to like make you happy. Um, but they do that so that they can have their own self-validation. Okay. So healthy relationships come with sometimes contentious issues. Sometimes healthy relation, we have conflicts and Everybody does in healthy relationships. That's part of being real. That's part of being vulnerable. I'm not talking about drag out boxing matches in your living room. That's toxic as F. That's unhealthy. I'm talking about, hey, you know, being able to state forward to another person. Hey, can we have a talk? There's something like, I'm not really happy about something here. It makes me feel a particular way. And then when the other person, you know, really cares, they're like, oh my gosh, I didn't know. Or, um, yeah, I'll work on, you know, making some small changes here because uh, I don't want you to be unhappy with me. Like there's effort that's put in. I don't feel like this person, I don't feel like they really put this up. I feel like this is somebody who would much rather um, just run to somebody else to get the, because it's easier. And then if that other person stops in, stops validating them, then they come back to you. It's lack of loyalty. Total lack of loyalty. Tough read this week. All right, you have enthusiastic, optimistic, creative, impatient, news of exciting opportunities, allowing your creativity to soar, do things that fuel your passions, and finish what you start, Virgo. And the Seven of Cups, make a choice. Stop procrastinating or overanalyzing. Get clarity on what you desire and move forward. You might have too many options or there might be some addictions that need to be addressed this week. So get clarity and move forward. Make a logical decision, not a hard. So I always like to say, if you're in a toxic relationship, you need to make a logical, head, heady, practical, logical, mind, brain decision. When you're in a toxic relationship or an unhealthy relationship, you make decisions from your head. When you're in a healthy relationship, you make decisions from your heart, right? It's not oh, 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 one or the other, right? When it's not healthy, you need to be protect your heart. And that's what your brain's for. Brain is going to protect your heart. All right, let's get some Chinese signs to see. Who you may be, oops, I'm dropping stuff, I'm like, what's going on here? Where are my, oh, here they are, sorry you guys. <laughs> All right, let me get, let's see, Chinese signs for Virgo and or their person. All right, year of the rooster, year of the horse, year of the dog. Year of the ox, year of the dragon, year of the monkey, year of the pig, year of the rat. Okay, it could be you, it could be your person, it could be neither of you, doesn't mean it's not your message. All right, so we have Virgo, Leo, Capricorn. I think I'm missing one of my. I am missing one of my zodiac signs. Okay. So someone's 32. Someone's 48. Someone is 51. Someone is 30. 
1976, 1972, 1989, September 8th, September 20th, oh, soap, I just heard soap, get the soap, 1981, September 8th again, July 8th, hey, by the time you're listening to this, you might just, you might be in the fall, you might be, it might be July 9th already, um, but the, re the reading is recorded for July 8th, so very significant. September 6th, 1960. September 14th, 1963. Someone is 41. Okay. We've got the initial S. We have A. We have O. N. A. We have the letter F as in Frank. We have V. Someone's born in February. We have a G. We have an X letter I, the letter E. I, I'm getting Sean. I keep getting Sean lately. We have an O. Okay. We have Ian. Uh, someone's doing something with AI. <clears throat> doing some AI stuff. Okay. Uh, somebody's getting a text that says good night. Just heard good night. Like a GN. Though it's like GN. GN, good night. Um, let's see. I'm picking up Brian. Or Brianna. Brianne, Brianna. Okay, not... I'm not getting a, I'm not really getting anything here, which is so odd. Maybe they don't want to say the names. All right. First, you have a turtle. Okay, turtle is significant to somebody here. I feel like we got this the other day. So, like a sea turtle or a turtle, very significant. And. And a mermaid. All right, we're, we're doing some sea life things here. Turtle and a mermaid and uh, a star. Hold on. Let me just look at this star real quick. It says something. It says, just for you. Star says, just for you. Perhaps me, just for you. Hmm, it's interesting. I feel like this reading is just for you. You're going to know. You're going to know. There is a mermaid here. Significant mermaids are significant turtles and stars. That's so cute. <laughs> Somebody's eating a bowl of Lucky Charms? I don't know. There you go. Right here. All right, you guys. So I hope that gives you a little bit of insight and helps you figure some stuff out this week. I will see you all back here tomorrow for uh, just your regular reading. And um, if you haven't subscribed to my other channel, Moon Pie Tarot, definitely go over there and check that out. The links are in the description box below. I will be uploading Aquarius next. So if you're a cross watcher or you have Aquarius in your chart, definitely go check that out. All right, you guys, I will see you all back here very soon.